Hello, thank you so much for joining me for this practice on pelvic mobility and pelvic floor stuff. Um, you do want a foam roller if you've got one. If you don't have a foam roller, you can use a yoga bolster or like a pretty thick blanket that's rolled up. Just something that's relatively long that you can feel um, your feet against. We'll do some things with it in supine. Set that off to the side for now. Lie on your back. Rest your hands against the floor. And take a moment just to close your eyes, feel your pelvis against the floor, and begin feeling the sensation of your breath. Imagine that your breath is traveling along each side of your spine. So it's almost like you have these two lanes from each nostril, moving down each side of the spine, moving into each side of your pelvis. And as you stay here and observe your breath, just see if you can feel each imaginary lane from your nostril down to your pelvis. See if you can feel the breath moving at the same rate down. Once you have a clear image of that, reach your left leg all the way out. Ground your right foot against the floor by feeling the right center heel, the right big toe, and the right pinky toe. And maybe your right foot is a little tiny bit wider than your right hip. Sometimes that's a little bit helpful for this, especially if you have, if you have a tendency to keep your feet really close together. Begin pressing through your right foot so that your right pelvis lifts a little bit away from the floor and then lower that down and stay with that. As you do this, notice that my right knee isn't wandering in or out. If I press evenly through my right foot and I have good contact with my right foot, that right knee is gonna go straight ahead. As you return to center, really feel the weight of your pelvis against the ground before you press into the foot and go again. Take one more on this side and go ahead and switch sides. Find the grounding of your left foot. Find the left big toe, the left pinky toe, and the left um, center of the left heel really pressing into the floor. Find the inside and the outside of the left foot pressing into the floor as you press so much that that left pelvis lifts away from the ground and then it relaxes down. And this doesn't take very much effort. So if you feel like you're overly clenching or overly bracing to do it, see if you can back off and make the movement smaller. It doesn't need to look like mine. It can be tiny. Take one more. Bend your right knee. Take your arms up towards the ceiling. I want you to imagine someone is pulling your right hand towards the ceiling. As they pull the right hand towards the ceiling, you press into your right foot. And then just bring everything back to center. Now imagine someone's reaching your left hand towards the ceiling as you press through your left foot. And then bring everything back to center. Go back and forth here. And you may find a gentle rocking motion happens. Don't worry about when you breathe. Just make sure that you are breathing. Take one more each side. Find center. Turn over onto your right side. I like to use my right arm as a pillow. So I'm going to rest my head on my arm. If this doesn't suit you, you can use your bolster or your foam roller. Take your left hand on your hip. You're going to let your left knee move forward and your left knee move back. Now, as you do this, you'll notice I'm keeping my shoulders even and still. So I'm moving just at that pelvis region for right now. Now find center. Now move your left hip towards your left shoulder 
and then move it away from your left shoulder. And just go back and forth there. Find center. Now let your left shoulder and your left hip roll forward and then let them roll back. Take one more. Find center. Turn and face the other direction. I will get up and physically move so that I continue facing you guys so you can see what's going on. Take your right hand on your right hip. Start with your right knee moving forward and your right knee moving back. And again, my right shoulder's not moving. Find center. Right hip moves towards right ribs. Right hip moves away from right ribs. Back and forth. Find center. Right knee and right shoulder roll forward. Right knee and right shoulder go back. Find center, lie on your stomach. Make a pillow for your forehead, so your forehead's resting on your hands. And very gently begin pressing the pubic bone towards the floor. And then the pubic bone away from the floor. Just go back and forth there. Take one more. Find center. Prop yourself up on your elbows. I want you to imagine the very bottom of your breastbone. It's called your xiphoid process. I want you to move that area, that very bottom of the breastbone, towards your pelvis, like you're nodding it down. And then relax it. Stay with that. Nod it down. And you'll notice that more of myself is lifting up, and that's totally normal and okay. Now imagine that as you nod the breastbone down, you nod the pubic bone towards the breastbone. So it's like you're closing the gap between your breastbone and your pubic bone. Take one more. Come up into a hands and knees position. Imagine you have a tail and you're gonna wag your tail back and forth. At first, try and do it just with your pelvis. Now start to make the motion a little bigger. Start to let your ribs respond. Start to let your head respond. Start to let your head look towards your tail. Find center. Take your right knee in front of your left. Separate your feet. Gently rock back. Your front knee might lift from the ground. It might not. Bring it down. Stay with that. Walk back. You might find as you do this that your pelvis starts to approximate towards the floor. Or it might not. Let your spine be responsive. So don't try and hold your spine still. Let it respond. Let it relax. Take one more. Undo your legs. Switch feet. Separate your feet. Begin rocking back. Again, the front knee lifts. Maybe or maybe not. Come into a seated position, whatever that looks like for you. 
Bend your left knee up, extend your right leg out. You're just gonna roll onto your left leg towards that left knee and bring it back to center. Just roll. And you might even take the right leg out so the heel is a little wider than the right hip. Take one more. Go ahead and switch sides. Right knee bends, left leg might be out a little bit of the left hip and just roll into the right side, towards the right knee. Rolling over towards the right knee. That left hand can move or it can stay still. Find center. Come on up into a tall kneeling position. You're gonna take your right foot out to the right. And I want you to see if you can really ground through the right foot. So you're really pressing through the inside and the outside of the right foot. And when you do that, you may feel a little bit of external rotation through the right hip. That simply means the skin of the right thigh feels like it's rotating outward. Your pelvis is going to stay as square as it can towards the front of the mat. In my case, the side of the mat. I'm going to begin letting the right knee shift over the right foot. Use your left leg to pull yourself back to center. So right knee shifts forward, left knee pulls towards right thigh, right heel. Take one more. Go ahead and switch. Same thing, press through the inside and the outside of the left foot. Let the left knee move forward. Use the right knee to pull yourself back to center. Forward, center. Take one more. Lower that down. Take your foam roller. You're going to place it. You're going to lie down with it. You're going to place it right between the soles of your feet. You're gonna take your hands on top of the foam roller. I have my right hand in contact with the foam roller. My left hand is in contact with my right hand. Begin pressing the feet into the foam roller. Begin pressing the hands into the foam roller and begin breathing. See if you can let your breath be slow and steady. See if you can think back to that beginning when you were imagining the breath was Going down two lanes from your nostrils down to your pelvis. From here, take the knees in contact with the foam roller and the feet, inside of the feet, are in contact with the foam roller. I'm going to switch my hands. My left hand is now in contact with the foam roller. My right hand is in contact with my left hand. Begin pressing into the foam roller as you breathe. In through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Set the foam roller off to the side. Feel your feet in contact with the floor. And then take your hands. They're like I dream of genie arms. So your left, my in my case, my left hand is on top of my right. We'll switch that in a second. But begin pressing the hands and the forearms into each other and close your eyes. And I want you to, again, follow the inhale from the nostrils down to the pelvis. And then very slowly, like you're blowing out birthday candles, exhale. Take another inhale. Exhale, blow out candles. Now release the hands out to the sides so they make a T with your body. Gently tip your knees to the right. Tip your knees to the left.
find center, swap the arms, and one more time, inhale, follow the inhale from the nostrils down to the pelvis, exhale, blow out candles, blow so much that it's like you don't have any air left. And when you don't have any air left, pause for a moment. And then inhale through your nose. Exhale, blow out candles. Rest your hands by your sides. Let your eyes close. Begin breathing slowly and evenly. Letting go of any conscious effort to breathe. And return to the beginning where you simply observed the sense of your pelvis against the floor. And then imagine the inhale from your nostrils down to your pelvis and just see if the breath is moving down the two lanes in a similar way or in a clear way. And gently roll over onto our side. Come on up. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that was useful. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.